What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Some people love mastery mode and some people hate mastery mode, but one thing's for certain, the first two shards in mastery, mass destruction and vicious strikes, are extremely valuable hyper shards and most people know that they're going to want to shoot for these first two. Uh, of course, you get the vicious strike shard at 155 stars and that would get you to the point where you had Mass Destruction and Vicious. There is now reason to push on, so if you have yet to finish Mastery, you are gonna want to do so. The very last Hyper Shard avail available at 680 stars is the Automation Shard. Automation is going to be each time your defense attacks, it heals for a percentage of its max health with a cooldown of 0.7 seconds. Now there is some hidden value to the automation shard that players have discovered in the last several months, and that is it acts as a Chaos 8 10 of 10 tenacity. Completely unupgraded, the automation shard will give you complete immunity to cyborgs and Kursakazi on any defense that you're using it. Tenacity, of course, uh, is a mod that reduces the duration of negative status effects it does take it being a perfect mod and getting all the way up to Chaos 8 before it reaches 100%. So at 100% value, of course, you can completely ignore Cyborgs and Tenacity will do its thing. Now today, Walta from Trendy confirmed that the hidden value of automation has actually been there since the shard was released and that Trendy has no plans currently of making any changes to it. So get yourself to 680 stars and get yourself that automation. Now there is some other gems on the way. Of course, Destructive Pylon is a very, very valuable shard. Uh, th this is available at 575 stars. So Destructive Pylon is going to be the sixth hyper shard you can get. Automation would be the seventh in the very last one at 680 stars. Now here we are on Chaos 2 Crumbled Bulwark. As we know... Chaos 2 is just full of cyborgs. You see their icon there at the bottom there and over here. And we're going to test this automation process. So I built the map out with some last resort here just to keep from failing. However, I want to look at this area right here. So I've got my DPS monk and I've got just this. Why on earth I've got this totem here? I'm not sure, but I've got this totem on it. And I'm going to go ahead and throw an unupgraded 0 of 20 automation onto this totem and then throw a flame aura right here just so we can watch and see exactly what happens with the cyborgs that come rolling into that lane. So let's go ahead and fire it up and let it come. Now 100% tenacity shard will show the little swirly graphic effect over the defense but the defense will still keep operating. In the case of the flame auras of course, when it's disabled, the little damage label that shows its area of effect on the ground disappears and it gets the little swirly animation over top of the Flame Aura. But as we see, the Flame Aura is doing 280 damage. And let's see, that was my pet. It's doing 280 and then critting for 448. Now here comes the Cyborgs. The Cyborgs are going ham and that little swirly is up above. However, as you see, those 280s are still ticking and the labels still on the ground, just as if you were using a 100% tenacity. So get yourself to 680 stars and get that automation hyper shard as it is good, good stuff and can allow you to achieve the same results as a 100% tenacity without having a Chaos 8 mod or a perfect 10 of 10 mod. So that will do it for now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. We'll see ya.